Well, I went to my uh, Asian grocery store today and asked them if they might have any pork belly. And they did. So I bought this pork belly and it is, uh, I don't know how much it weighs. They weighed it. It's $5 a pound. This cost me six twenty-five. At least I think it was $5 a pound. So anyway, it's half frozen and half not frozen. And I'm going to, well, maybe two of those. Cut off two strips of it. And I'm going to boil this. It'll be the first. Still has the, the skin on there. So anyway, I'm going to boil this in water, and I'm going to put a half teaspoon of salt in the water and 10 Szechuan peppercorns. I also got peppercorns there. And, uh, and then I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, and I'll work on it tomorrow. Because I, I want the, the uh, pork to cool off completely. I went ahead and cut up one more piece and these are the three pieces and they shrunk up quite a bit and this is typically used here to make bacon but this is fresh and it's not smoked or anything and I'm going to take this skin off and when I cut the skin off there's a layer of fat there and I'm going to try to get most of that fat too but now this is um, what the Asian market told me is typically used to make authentic uh, twice cooked pork. If you don't want to use this, the substitution I would say is if your uh, grocery store deli sells um, uh, like cooked pork that they slice up, then that would be a good substitution. But mine doesn't. So I kind of had to resort to this. And I've already cooked this once. This is my second time. And I learned from my first time. My first time was terrible. So hopefully this time it'll come out good. Just cutting off some of the, pork, the fat. But they said to leave it in there. And it's really good. I missed some skin there. And uh, anyway, then the next thing that you do is you just take it and slice it real thin. So slice all this up, okay? I just want to show you this pork before I um, go any further. Doesn't it kind of look like um, bacon? It kind of does, to me, anyway. Some of the other ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need garlic, two cloves that I've chopped up. And I have a teaspoon of red chili flakes. I also have here a half of a red onion that I kind of wedged, cut up in wedges, and one bell pepper red, one bell pepper green. For the sauce I have a one cup measure here and it has a half a cup of chicken stock in there and I'm going to add a tablespoon of cornstarch. Put that in there. Sugar, just regular old sugar. I'm going to add two tablespoons. Soy sauce, four tablespoons of, of soy sauce. Measurements don't have to be perfect. And then my favorite ingredient, oyster sauce. It's kind of cold. So get four tablespoons in there. It's taking forever, so I'm not going to show you all four. And but I'm going to put four tablespoons in there. And here is optional. 
This is black bean paste. That's about a tablespoon. I'm going to put it in mine. You can if you want. You don't have to. And I'm going to continue on with the um, oyster sauce. My pan's hot. It's on medium-high heat. I'm going to add about three, four tablespoons of vegetable oil. And I'm going to put in the uh, bell peppers. Fry these up for about a minute. These have been going about two minutes. I'm going to add my uh, garlic and red bell pepper. This will flavor the oil. Stir this around for about one minute. Next, I'm going to add the uh, onions. The onions have been going for about two minutes. It's still pretty crisp. I'm going to push everything to the side and in the middle I'm going to add my pork. And push this down and try and crisp it up a bit. So this may take like three or four minutes. We'll see. This has been cooking about four minutes and I haven't achieved my goal of getting the uh, pork crispy, but it's tender, I'll assure you that. So now, I'm going to pour the sauce on. The sauce made about one whole cup after all the additions. And, oh, I think this is going to be really good. I really do. So anyway, heat this back up and let it get thick and we're ready to go. Ready to eat. There's some rice on my plate there. Here is the twice cooked pork. 